Hey everybody, I ran into a, kind of a bit of a quandary and uh, figured out how to fix it or how to, the workaround is and, and I thought, well, maybe I'll just show you what I did and, and if you ever run into this, um, you can do the same thing. So basically what I'm doing is I'm putting a, a large 45 degree camphor on a, on a big uh, table slab and the bit, the router bit, won't fit through the hole of the base plate of my router. So uh, I've made router plates before um, and put the largest hole in them that I could um, at the time, but they're not even big enough. So this thing has to be about two and five eighths in diameter. Um, so. I'm going to put a, th a three inch hole in a in a router plate and uh, I'll just show you how I make it and maybe uh, you'll have to um, do the same thing someday and, and you'll already know the fix. So uh, here we go. Um, router base plate build. Take one. So this is the router bit that I need to use. It's quite large and it won't fit i mean it's just barely barely hanging on there on the edge um if i was real brave i'd just run that router bit through there and kind of hog that out but this is um a hundred dollar bit so i'm not too interested in taking my chances so i got out the old trusty dewalt um i'm going to uh, I've already taken the plate that's on it off and I'm just gonna make a, a 10 by 10 router base plate with a three inch hole in it. So what I use to do that, it's polycarbonate. Um, I use polycarbonate instead of plexiglass because plexiglass has a tendency to shatter. So when you're cutting it, um, It'll have a tendency to to break and and uh, spider web on the edges, and uh, this polycarbonate doesn't. So uh, let me get set up, and I'll show you how I cut it. I'm going to cut this polycarbonate on my saw stop table saw, and I don't know how the brake cartridge, the safety feature, will will react to cutting through basically plastic. I think it'll do fine, but I don't want to take any chances. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the, the saw out of its safety mode. I'm going to bypass it. Um, to do so, um, all you have to do is hold down, hold this down until you see that blink and then we'll start it and then it blinks again and I can let go so now the saw is running and it's not in um, safety mode And then we'll take this plate and we're going to line it up kind of the best we can and we'll drill our mounting hole. So I've got a self-centering bit here. Um, I'm doing is making a mark. I'm not going all the way through. OK. 
Okay. Now, we'll take our big hole saw. I'm going to go ahead and clamp this because I don't want this thing taking off on me. So I did that with a hand drill and in hindsight um, should have chucked it up in the uh, in the drill press would have made a, a much cleaner application so I think I'm going to remake this and do it right. Okay so um, I've got my little drill press set up and that's what I'm going to do. I should have done it to begin with. I just got lazy and uh, tried to really kind of push through this because um, I want to get to routing but um, anyways just to show you how to do it right I should show you how to do it right so I've got a little 3 8 Forstner in there and I've already uh, set it to the right depth I didn't didn't um, want to bore you with that detail so I'm gonna drill the uh, mounting holes um, I'll drill the countersink part first and then I'll come back and drill the through hole Okay, so there's my uh, countersink holes for the mounting plate. Alright, now what I'm going to do is uh, drill my through holes. Okay, so I have my three holes cut. Um, let me grab one of the screws and we'll make sure that we've got enough bite. Uh, see, we're not quite down far enough, so I'll probably have to get some longer screws, or I can just recess those holes a little bit more. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and um, plunge these recesses down a little bit, because I've still got I still got quite a bit of meat there, so that's what I'm, I'll do that, and then I'll get back with you. All right, well, this is take two on drilling the, the main hole. So I've got it on the drill press. I've got the old one down below it um, just as a backer. So let me uh, get to drilling this thing, and uh, we'll see how it works. All right, well, that didn't turn out so great. Um, this um, polycarbonate does not like these big bits. So it was it was jumping all over the place. Um, so I stopped and actually just got out my, uh, my coping saw for doing baseboards and stuff. So um, cut it out. It's not a perfect circle, but it's good enough for what I need. So now I'm just going to router the edges real quick, uh, just soften up the edges so they don't get caught on anything, and uh, we'll mount it. All right, let's put our plate on and see if the holes line up. Okay guys, there is our, uh, our router plate, now we've got, we've got plenty of room uh, for this to move in and out. And then when we do our table over here, that gives me a really nice um, platform to work off of you know I can work this way um, holding my handles and uh, just just move it right down the right down the table this is my little Bosch Colt um, 
I do the, I use this for roundovers like the bit never comes out of it but it's got a long uh, front on it and then I just screwed a handle onto it so that I can run up and down trim or anything I want to put just a, a small radius on eighth inch radius um, this little Colt um, does a great job like I said it it the bit never comes out of it it's dedicated just for uh, rounding over uh, things so just a nice simple build just no different than what I did but you can if you get some polycarbonate you can make just a ton of different router plate bases that work for your specific needs so hope this helps and uh, we'll continue with the uh, the table build that's another video but we'll, I'll show you the results of this router bit uh, base plate that we just made. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Bye.